It's gonna take three days for this to pull. <sighs> and before I go, let me tell you about uh, President Obama. You know, President Biden could have ran in 2016 and he suggested he didn't run. That's when he should have ran because his son had died and um, he needed, uh, that would have been a good outlet for him. And I think his son, Bo, who he loved dearly, wanted him to run. President Obama said no. And then you see what happened. So, yeah, I didn't know that President Obama did that. And then why they haven't endorsed Kamala yet? She don't need him. Kind of felt a gag. And I know you all been wondering for years, I mean all year, what's up with her now? Well, I got my nails done for years, since the 90s. Uh, I'm a nail biter, right? But I'm not the nail biter like I used to be. So, I got my nails done after I left Palm Springs. I started being loyal to this nail shop that was open during the pandemic. They was doing some slick moves. And then I figured, I said, oh, they open? Because I saw paper on the, brown paper on the glass, but I saw light. And then I saw somebody come out of there. I said, wait a minute. Nobody was supposed to be open. Anyway... Um, I called the number. The lady told me to meet her in the back the next day. <laughs> I forget. It was funny. But it was a nice shop. They did my nails beautifully. 
I kept going to them even after I left the area and moved to Riverside. Because Errol was actually still working in Palm Springs. So, uh, long story short, the the husband or the wife would usually do my nails. But then in come this, here comes this other lady. And uh, I think I told this before. But I feel the need to tell it again. She did my nails twice. The second time she did my nails... I was feeling a throbbing, just a throb. And I was like, what is this throbbing? I hated it. It didn't feel good. And I would go to the pool, and it was still throbbing. And one day I just I said, I'm taking these things off. That was in 20, and that particular time they did my nails, they even overcharged me by $30. <sighs> I'm so mad. So anyway, because I had paid them in cash, and I was going to, I forget how it happened, but they, they overcharged me. And, um, yeah, my nails, I haven't had got any nails since. So I've been looking for somebody like, you know, to do my nails, give them a try, but I haven't found anybody. My cousin actually does nails very, very well. But she said, I have to go on Instagram and and I don't know where her shop is. And I don't know. It's a lot, I don't know. It's kind of like a maze situation. I have other relatives say she's there in Inglewood, but I don't know. I haven't bothered. I just want my nails done. So that's why my nails are naked. All right, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening or having an evening. I made, last night, I made some black eyed peas. And uh, I got so hungry. It was night, like late. So, and then it was hot yesterday. I said, oh, let me take my shower. Of course, uh, another shower. And um, so, to keep from burning the AC all day, you know, if you shower. So, I took a shower. But before I did that, I rinsed my frozen peas cut up my onions, bell pepper, and garlic, got that going, and then I was thawing out some shrimp, and um, then I went and took a shower, I had my peas boiling, then I remembered I had some turkey, cooked turkey legs, and the, the, they weren't, I thought they probably were, uh, what's that word, smoked, they weren't smoked, so I put those in and everything, when it took my shower and I hollered out the restroom to tell my husband to turn them down, but I don't think he heard me. And, um, but anyway, I'm getting ready to eat that. But when I got out the shower, he told me that I turned uh, your pot down. Um, so I had that and some shrimp and then he ate up most of my shrimp and I told him to make some rice, but he wouldn't make it because I was going to add some cream of Mm, some cream soup to the shrimp and you put some rice in the shrimp that's a meal you know but he didn't do it so now I think I'm gonna go out to the store and get some shrimp and make sure it's no cleaning involved and then I'll saute those add it to my um, mix I already have on the stove and then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's get some of the rice in the box frozen I don't, I don't i'm not a good rice maker i can make it good in a rice cooker though so that's what i'm gonna do this evening and i gotta go put this money in the bank i've been walking around with so god bless everyone hopefully next time you see me i have my nails done but i'm real funny now i mean that throbbing was crazy and i have you ever heard of those flesh eating diseases and and all that I wasn't trying to go there okay all right lovelies it's rough in these corn star streets streets and life is like a box of cornstarch <laughs>